There's been universal condemnation from all political sides in Northern Ireland following a second night of violence at the start of the parade season. And today, the Chief Constable of the Police Service of Northern Ireland has called for calm on all sides. But why has there been a rise in tension this year? And what's been the British military reaction in the province? John Knighton has been finding out. Totally unacceptable was the reaction to a second night of rioting on the streets of Belfast. Police officers fired a number of baton rounds after being attacked with petrol bombs by nationalist rioters in the north of the city. Earlier they'd used water cannon to disperse a crowd throwing missiles in the Ardoin area. I'd also say to parents, you know, where are your children? There were children last night, in a sense, you know, out there. There were little ones, young ones, and in a sense, even if they were doing nothing other than watching. Those children should have been at home in their beds. One policewoman was taken to hospital with head injuries after being struck by masonry. Over the two nights, 55 officers were injured and there were also incidents in Derry and Lurgan. The Chief Constable of the Police Service of Northern Ireland led the condemnation of last night's violence and says a way has to be found to solve the issues surrounding the marching season. The cost of policing last night for that small part of Northern Ireland is the equivalent of a, of a ward in a hospital. It's the equivalent of a primary school. It's the equivalent of labour policing teams out there doing the things in personal policing that we want. And it is time to have that big debate about what is really important in terms of the future of Northern Ireland. There's no real surprise here amongst the military community about the upsurge in violence to coincide with July the 12th. But what has received praise has been the way that the police service of Northern Ireland have been able to contain the situation without what's regarded as the unthinkable need of bringing troops back out onto the streets. The PSNI have, have quite clearly taken on board the new conditions, the new dispensation, if you like, and the fact that there is not widespread support uh, for, for this, uh, for public disorder. Uh, there is, uh, the, the rioting tends to be confined to the interface areas, and the police response has been tailored to exactly that. Last night's dissident-led violence involved a few hundred people. Yesterday, hundreds of thousands were able to enjoy the July the 12th parades. A reflection of the peace process few want to lose. John Knighton, Forces News, Northern Ireland.
You're just a bitch ass tray.
find this? Where'd you find this? Son, 